Second statement, um, the, uh, the rate against four drug uh, labs uh, in Nangahar um, is just a great story, a great success and a very, very good news, uh, particularly because it destroyed parts of the funding mechanism for the Taliban. خب باید بر و مسئله دومی است که امی عملیات که در ولایت ننگرهار صورت گرفت بالاخره ای باعث کشف و ضبط چهار لابراتوار بزرگ مواد مخدر در ولایت شد کی خود باعث کاهش یک یک منبع بزرگ مالیاتی یا که شورشیار از نگاه مالی بالاخره تمویل میکرد بود و یک خبر خوش هم هست باشه and thirdly, um, although it was a great success, um, undoubtedly a great success, um, the, uh, the players and the stakeholders um, uh, in this operation, uh, perhaps, um, um, and it was an Afghan-led operation very clearly, uh, need to perhaps improve coordination um, of all sorts. But let me say, the bottom line is a great story, and we need to move forward. And I hope to see more um, operations of this kind. خوب اگر چه یک موفقیت بسیار بزرگ است و کسایی که هم در اینجزی داخل بودند یعنی سهم فعال خود را در اینجا در این راستا ایفا کردند و باید یک نکته دیگر هم یادآور شوم که از نیروهای امنیتی افغان هم در این عملیات اشتراک داشتند یعنی بودند اونها هم حضور داشتند ولی باید بگیم که امی همکاری ها باید دیگه هم افزایش بیا به فیما بین امی نیروهای امنیتی و ما امیدوار هستم که چنین عملیات های بزرگ که یک موفقیت بزرگ را هم در پی داشت در آینده ها نیز برا بیفته و ما شاهد چنین عملیات and you didn't say anything about the Russian troops that they were also involved in this operation. I, let me. Okay, they were I, just kind of a mentor uh, in this let, operation. Again, um, there were no Russian troops involved. And um, in case you need more information, I simply refer you to the uh, Afghan government and to the U.S. embassy. Uh, because it was an Afghan-led operation supported by, for example, the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency uh, and others. And uh, what I have to say from an ISAF point of view, and it was clearly not an ISAF operation, what I have to say, I just told you, uh, and, and this is it from my side. Hope, uh just one second. خب اینا باز هم گفتن که اصلا هیچ یک از نیروهای روسی در اوج حضور نداشته و نبودن نیروهای روسی در اوج و ای که شما میگین که نیروهای روسی اصلا نیروهای روسی در اوج نبوده فقط یک تیمی از نیروهای امریکایی که علی مواد مخدر مبارزه میکنن و با جمعی از نیروهای امنیتی افغان در اوج حضور داشتن اما روسا اصلا در اوج حضور نداشتن و و باید برتون و یک دیگه هم برتون بگویم که این عملیات عملیات ایصاف نبود اگر بر جزئیات He's just saying that, but Russian, uh, the, the Russian government, they have uh, already confirmed that their their troops were already there on the ground during this operation, and also the Afghan government, on the other hand, they have also approved and and confirmed the existence of the Russian troops uh, on the ground there and during the okay. operation. Then give me a chance to close this case from an ISAF point of view, and again, this is not, you know, an ISAF business, and perhaps I shouldn't have talked about it uh, anyway. I, let me refer you one more time to the Afghan government and to the U.S. Embassy. And all I know, to, to say it one more time, all I know is that there were no Russian troops involved in this operation. And now I'd like to turn over to this gentleman. <laughs> اگر چی من نباید این مورد ظاهر نظر میکردم که این مسئله مربوط با ایصاف نمیشه و ایصاف هیچ کدام حضور در این عملیات نداشت و من بازم برای معلومات بیشتر شما شما را یک بار دیگر به دولت افغانستان و سفارت امریکا راجع میزدم شما میتونید که جزیات بیشتر از اون رو باز بگیرید امید است مستر ویدون نگاه اچند یک با بخش سوال محمود برمی عملیات نگهار میشد که آقای ملاد ست اون جواب دادن و موقف خدا گفتن من میخوایم از آقای دومریک پس بپرسو که چون نیروهای ناتو در این عملیات حضور داشتن و دولت افغانستان خواهان رو بازه ساختن و یا توضیح به این عملیات شدن که باید نیروهای ناتو گفته توضیح بده که چگونه عملیات نازیلین روسی یا مامران روسی در این عملیات شرکت داشتن آقای دوبریک باید این جواب بده که دولت افغانستان بله ما نگز ناتو بله ما نگز ناتو 
All the one part of my question was already answered by General Blatz, but I would like to um, once again ask uh, Dominic Medley uh, uh, concerning the NATO uh, troops' presence during this operation. Uh, and meanwhile, President Karzai, he has also uh, asked the NATO to, to give him a, a quick response on that that uh, why the NATO troops were involved and how, and please give me your comments on that. Okay, I don't talk about military operations. I represent the civilian ambassador, okay? There was a very full and frank press conference on Saturday by the Deputy Minister of Counter Narcotics for Afghanistan, where he explained exactly the success, a huge haul of drugs that was achieved in this operation. The Russian government announced their role in that operation with the American DEA. And there were no Russian soldiers, troops, people in uniform with weapons on that operation. We're not going to get into a press conference on Saturday, press conference on Monday. Deputy Minister of Counter Narcotics is your point man for this operation. All right, you've got time for two more questions, please. There's been a lot of recent statements, and you, oh, sorry. There's been a lot of recent statements, and you mentioned it today about the situation in Kandahar. Um, there's, as you referred to today, there were, um, there's a lot of reports of progress, bubbles being connected, Taliban being routed out from areas. But uh, in um, Major General Nick Carter's statements the other day, he seemed to bring back on that a lot and to state that there was no there was nothing to indicate whether this progress could be maintained. Um, it's, uh, I'm confused as to why commanders on the ground are, are saying one thing and then once, it, once it's out in the media, the, the line is once again to wait and see. How long do we have to wait and see? What was the name of that Major General? Carter. Carter, okay. Major General, yeah, Nick Carter. <coughs> Uh, I'm fine. Uh, um, sometimes I've, I feel to be in the same difficult position as you are, because on the one hand side, uh, there are interviews and comments by, for example, General Carter, uh, who, by the way, will uh, end his tour tomorrow, a very successful tour, by the way, and on the other side, what we're seeing in the press and media. And this is not uh, necessarily always the same thing. Okay.